What's up everybody? My name is Eric. Welcome to my channel, Eric the Tutor. What's up everybody? My name is Eric. Welcome to my channel, Eric the Tutor. And today we're going to be talking about Chem 8B practice exam for quiz number three. Go ahead and try these problems. In our previous video, we worked on imines, and now we're going to be talking about enamines. So go ahead and try this problem and work it out. We'll talk through together. Similar to our last problem, we have an aldehyde, we have an amine, and we have some acid. First step, just like the last problem, I want to go grab a proton and make this a more charged up carbonyl. Here's our new proton. Our carbon group located right here is now more electrophilic. It would form a carbocation if we drew a resonance structure. So the next thing I know, I'm going to take my nucleophile and go attack the most electrophilic thing I can find. Our nucleophile came in. Our nitrogen has two R groups next to it. And our nitrogen had a hydrogen, which will give the nitrogen a positive charge. Notice, in the previous problem, our amine was a primary amine. In this problem, we have a secondary amine. When you have a secondary amine, you're not going to be able to form the imine like you can get in a primary amine or an ammonium. So notice, we have a secondary amine, so we're going to get a different product this time than our imine. Similar reaction mechanism, I have an oxygen. It's going to go grab a proton in order to give the nitrogen's lone pair back. Our nitrogen now has its lone pair back, and we have a water group. The water group can get kicked out by the lone pair. Just like the previous mechanism, it's the same exact step so far. The only difference between this step and our previous step is that in the previous mechanism, we had a proton that we could snag from our nitrogen and reform the lone pair on the nitrogen but we don't have that here. The nitrogen doesn't have anything else to give up. What we do have that can give up something is something we call an alpha hydrogen. Alpha simply means next door. This, car this hydrogen is on the alpha carbon, alpha to our carbon with the nitrogen group. So I can actually snag a proton from our alpha spot and form a double bond and push up the pi bond onto a lone pair on the nitrogen. I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. And there you have it. We just formed our enamine. Enamine simply means alkene and amine. And here you have an alkene and your amine group. So this is an amine. That's the mechanism. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next time.